Hello everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well. As I am. I know that these are troubled times. Tough for many. Especially those who've lost their jobs. Who are dealing with the strict rules to flatten the curve as we have heard for the past few weeks from now. Originally, I would have been talking to you guys about issues related to my heart, but over the past few days I have been doing the best I can, and I know most of you are doing the best you can to opening lines of communication on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, to friends and family, no matter where you're from. I know that many of you fear the unknown. Many of you don't know what is laying ahead in the coming weeks, in the months. Most of you are wondering what the future is going to be like. I know. I understand that fear. I understand that fear so well that we must look deep within ourselves. Look within who we are as a people, but also as a community of peoples, no matter where you're from. During the course of this crisis, I'm hopeful for unity. That's the only way that the world, anyone in any of the countries affected by this curse, this pandemic, this crisis, can overcome the fear, the anger, the hate, the jealousy, the envy. And so far, many of you have encouraged that kind of unity. Some of you still hold resentment and hatred towards each other, be it the President of the United States, be it the Prime Minister in Canada, or leadership in the European Union. I can tell you right now, as much as this pandemic has affected all aspects of life, we got to come together we got to encourage each other. We got to ensure that every, each and one of us reach out to each other. It's not just social media. It's through emails. It's through Skyping, FaceTime. It's through a simple phone call, be it a home phone or a cell phone Vortex. Let's be honestly very clear. As the days go by, as the weeks go by, we have to not let our emotions get the best of us. And some days we will feel down in the dumps. And some days we will feel disheartened, doubtful and we want someone to reach out to. I know personally well that most of you in an area where I have called it my second home, Orange County, California, feel the same way. Let me say it to you, to the people in that area and to the United States of America, you do not deserve this fate you do not deserve to lose a job, to use a livelihood, to see people that passed away so sudden. This is not a fault of your own. This was never a fault of your own. No one wanted to see this. I didn't want to see this. I know where I'm from. We are facing the same dilemma as you. Let's be very constantly clear. The only way we can get through this together is we can open lines of communication, talk to each other, 
If so, we can talk to our favorite uh, sports players, celebrities. Not sure about politicians, but hey, you know what? If you want to talk to them, we can like comment on their Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, whatever. But in times of crisis, we got to look deep within ourselves and ask ourselves this. We got to persevere. We have to overcome this. And we know we can. Regardless of our differences, regardless of who we are, we have to make sure that something like this never happens again. But we must never, ever, ever allow a divide to be deepened. Not just in your country, but around the world. I know I speak to you from my heart. 13 years ago, I went to uh, my happy place. I went to Orange County, California. I met kindness. I met compassion. I met decency. And it grieves me a bit and saddens me to see this sickness ravage everyone in that area but also in the country of the United States and in Italy and in Spain and in the United Kingdom and in Japan and so on and so on but the most important thing is we can get through this we can get through this like in wars and terrorist attacks and tragedies of the past humanity in every country can find the will the spirit and the determination to overcome any form of tragedy that they face I believe in you I believe in the American people and I know right now you are wondering what's going to happen in the next two months all we have to do is hope for the best and we have to be positive positive. and we have to allow ourselves to mourn for those who passed even though we do not know them and be happy for those who have recovered as far as I'm concerned as you all sleep at night as you all wake up each morning I encourage every one of you to talk to each other speak to each other and don't let despair get you down we can do this from Orange County, California to the Republic of Finland to right here where I'm from uh, Canada in the province of Nova Scotia we can do this we can overcome this and we can ensure the next generations of these of, of, of our peoples can one day look back and see how we dedicate ourselves to ensure that we flatten the curve also we ensure that the next generations will never be ravaged by this disease this curse as I call it till then I'll see y'all soon